Today I'm gonna to show you how you can fine tune when you use removed background in Adobe Spark. Stick around. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio, so glad you are here. Today I'm walking you through how to fine tune or edit whenever you use remove the background in a photo within Adobe Spark. You might not know it's a possibility, it's there. You can restore, you can remove additional pieces. Sometimes it might miss a little bit of the photo or take too much out, or you can actually restore it and bring it back in. You might not even know that was possible. Well, today I'm showing you how to do that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Starting off at spark.adobe.com, I'm going to start a new project click on the blue plus sign and let's go with a custom size graphic and let's go let's see I think I'm going to choose a five by seven and I'm going to import a photo where I want to remove the background and actually there will probably be some areas that will need some fine-tuning so let's go ahead and find that photo and upload it here so here's the photo. Let me go ahead and resize it so you can see a little better there. This was taken last year when we went to Disney World. So we were in the Star Wars section. And what I wanna do is remove the background here. We have like this building here. We have some of the stage set. Let me see if I can fine tune that. And I'm going to add kind of a, an ice looking background. And so let's go ahead and click on the photo and there is remove background right there. And let's go ahead and see what the artificial intelligence in Adobe does. All right, so check that out. So we've got a ton that it removed that I actually need back. So here's where the fine tuning comes in. Right here where it says edit the cutout, you can say, <clears throat> right here where it says edit the cutout, you can show full image so you can see your image completely. So we see this part right here needs to be restored and looks like right here the grassy area i'm actually going to go ahead and fix a little bit of it right there so let's click on restore and the cool thing about adobe spark here is let's go ahead and zoom in this will let me kind of get in there into the details and let's go ahead and click the space bar so i can move it so i'm going to begin restoring some of that pink area there making sure not to go too far outside it's almost like painting or coloring within the lines. You wanna stay within the uh, body of your image here. So let me go ahead and actually increase the size here because we have this huge section. This just makes it easier to restore. Let's just go huge. And then when we get to the edges, I'll make the brush smaller so we can fine tune it. I've got some trees right there, or I should say some leaves. That's actually gonna be okay. I'll go ahead and size it out or, or put something in front of there. So let's go ahead and make this smaller. I'm using my keyboard here. You can de decrease using the shortcut or you can just use that brush menu right here on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and make this a bit smaller so I can get this edge part right here. And as close as I can get, it's not going to be perfect. You can see I got a little bit of the sky right there. So then here I'll click erase and maybe zoom in a little bit more. Again, hold the space bar and move this so I can get rid of this blue sky right here. And it may take a little bit of time to fine tune it. You can see that's as close. It's not Photoshop guys, but it's got the features of Photoshop. And uh, you know, I can live with that. I'm okay with that. This is basically, oh, too much there. Let's go Command Z here on the Mac and let's undo that. You could also use the undo button there at the top. So let me restore some of this at the top. Again, I'm going to I'm going to get a little bit of this foliage there, which is okay. I can live with that. Let's make this smaller so we can get closer to the edge there. I've got a little bit of the sky there. I'll fix that here in a bit. I want to get the rest of the body of that add at. And good. Like I said, I'm okay with that. The background I'm going to be using is going to be kind of in the snow area, so it should be okay. 
We'll see. I could always come back and fine tune it. So let's use the space bar. You can see there's a little bit of area right here that needs to be restored. And let's use space bar, move it around. And then right here, I got a little bit of sky showing underneath the neck. So let me zoom in here, space bar, so I can drag this and I'll use erase. That's one thing to remember is the erase and restore. And here we go. Erasing, that's pretty good. Let's get a little bit smaller. And I'm just kind of clicking here, not too much, just enough to remove some of that bright blue sky right there. Okay, let me zoom out. Let's see, zoom out and use the space bar and move it. Let's come around here. All right, uh, it looks like I've got some of the building right here and I've got something right here. So let's go ahead and use erase for this part because I want to erase that. Let's make the brush a little bigger there. And as you can see, I'm, so I'm going to go around and erase some of these areas that should not be there. And let's make the brush a little bigger since we're going to be out here, not too close to the legs. I'm going to do the same right here. And there we go. And then we've got this building right here. I'm going to go ahead and erase that too. And let's see here. I think, yeah, right about there. So again, I've got the tree that's covering a little bit of that bottom leg there. Let me get rid of this building right here. Just get it as close as I can to it. Let's see here. I might have taken too much. Let's come down here. It's a little, I would say, challenging with a mouse. Now, if I had a tablet, it probably would be easier to do this with a tablet. But again, I'm doing with what I have. Let me zoom in here. And I forgot to actually show full image here shortly, or I should say a little while ago. So let's go ahead and use that to our advantage right here. Let's restore that piece right there. And let's erase, show full image so I can see what I am erasing right there. That's good. Let's erase a little bit of this building right here. Now, you can't do this on the mobile version. You can do remove the background, but this fine tuning, I did not see it available on the mobile device. And probably for good reason, because you want to be able to get in there as close as you can. Um, I did not try it on an iPad. I'll have to check after here. I'll, I'll let you know in the description if it's possible with the iPad. So let's bring a little bit of this leg back in and a little bit more of this foot, I should say, not leg, and some more of this foot here. So let's increase the size. I'll get as much as I can without getting some of that grass in there. You can see a little bit of that pink right there. Okay, close, we're getting there. Let's get a little bit of this leg. And all right, I, I think I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Let me zoom completely out. Awesome, all right. And let's go ahead and click done so we can see how it looks like. All right, that looks pretty good. What I'm going to do now is resize it a bit. We'll get that grass out of there. There we go. Maybe let's make it a little larger. Get some of that grass out from the top area. And now what I'll do is we're going to add a background. Let's go here to backgrounds and let's see if we can find some snow. Let's see, snow. Ah, I think we got it. Let's see here, let's find something that will maybe have a mountain in the background or some sky. Let's see what this looks like here. Well, that's just, I don't think we'll do that. 
Well, maybe we'll use that. And we will move that to the back. Actually, that should, that might work. All right, now that we got the sky, let's look for some more background. Let's try some mountains. Let's make sure I spell it correctly, mountains. Trying to find some that are very distant. It's a series of mountains. Uh, yeah, those won't work. Let's try. Let's try this one here. And let's see if we can. Let's see if removing the background will work on this. All right, so it looks like it completely removed the mountain. So let's see. Ah, so now we can use the brush here. Let's go to erase and actually let's click restore and let's restore the mountain right here. So I'm just going to be using this remove background for this right here. And let's bring in that mountain into the background. See if this works. I'm trying to create the effect that this add at if you are familiar with Star Wars, that's called an ad at if you're I should say if you're not familiar with Star Wars, there we go, making it look like this ad at is in its environment. I'm getting totally nerdy here, but it was planted Hoth. So I'm trying to mimic that here. So let's see if this works. Let's give that a check mark. And okay, I'm going to edit that just a little bit because that crest at the top of that mountain there's a little too much brightness there so let's go to erase okay it's already there and zoom in some more let's try to get this little spot right here is what i'm trying to fix and i think we've succeeded here let's click the check mark and let me zoom out and zoom out once more there we go let's make this larger and you know making it look like it's in the background there somewhere what i may do oh it looks like we need to restore right here so let's do a little fine tuning here restore I've got some of that mountain gone and we've got this little house right here, which is okay. Well, we'll fix that here. All right, let's take this and I'm going to duplicate it. We're going to make a series of mountains here, make it look like mountain range. And uh, just to switch it up, I'm going to flip it. Maybe make it a bit smaller and we're going to move it over here. Make it look like it's a different mountain there. There we go. That's pretty good. And now what I'll do, and let's go to layer this out. Let's bring the add at back to the front and let's bring the sky down. Let me actually make that cover the whole thing. And let's bring these mountains down a little bit more. So it looks like further back. I don't want it to look like it's completely, I would say, um, stepping on the mountain there. As you can see, the effect that I'm trying to go for, I don't know, probably could change the orientation of the photo, but you kind of get the idea what I'm trying to do here. Um, I think I'm gonna play with this a little bit more and I'll be right back. I made a few changes to the photo here. I resized it, made it landscape instead of the vertical one. It just looked better this way. I was able to get those mountains to look a little more realistic there and uh, actually duplicated them. I'll show you here. There's actually two sets of them right there just to fill it out a little bit more. Now what I can do next here is add some text, just make this a cool poster or post for the next May the 4th be with you. So I'll, let me add some text here and uh, let's just say star wars and uh one thing here is i actually have the font 
I purchased. I think it's this right here. Let's see if this works. And there we go. Let's go ahead and resize that. Very cool. There we go. So I've got my poster for my next movie series coming out here. So now my next thing is to go ahead and download this and then share it with others, post it on social media, and uh, there we go. And that's how to fine tune or edit photos whenever you use or remove the background in Adobe Spark. I hope this video was helpful, something that you can use to create some amazing graphics in Adobe Spark. If you have any comments or questions about the video, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. It helps YouTube share it with a larger audience. Thank you once again for stopping by, and as always, be good to one another. Peace.